Today we're going to be talking about um, one of the area's most spectacular builders. It's M&A Custom Homes and they have a house on Georgetown Pike that's under construction that's going to be very similar to this one. They have, um, they have homes on Aziza and Great Falls and other Great Falls, McLean and Vienna Oakton locations. Um, most of what they build or what most of people would call a mansion or just spectacular chalets, um, very high quality home. Now, their homes start at around three million and of course they can go up to anything. Um, but some of the details we're gonna to try to show you today of what they do standard and some of the things that they can do that are extra and above the board. Obviously, their gated entrance, um, a feature of most of their big estates, um, ha are like this with beautiful gates in front of them. But let's go on and check it out, see a little bit more. I think you'll be impressed. One of the features that he does is these beautiful motor courts. Um, this one happens to be of pavers and four car garages is standard. A lot of his houses have five or six car garages, but his standards are four car garage. Now you'll see um, some rocks here. Um, you know, this is a construction site. We are doing work on it. This is where they're gonna put pavers with a uh, little circular pavers and um, wind up putting a fountain out front so that um, you can enjoy that. You'll see the stone, brick, and um, all the custom um, stonework on here, all the cut stone, and look at these lights. Very commercial grade, big, very large size lighting system. You'll also maybe see some of the cameras and stuff. Video surveillance, of course, on these types of homes is something that is done on a lot of them. One of the things with M&A is his use uh, and details of his elevations. Um, everything that he does, almost all of them, have some kind of feature that's out of precast. He uses precast rails, precast columns in a lot of his houses. Um, these, you can t see these are window wells that actually give um, light into the basement because the basement has full size windows in it, even though it's below grade at this point. Um, you can, again, the lighting fixtures are big, oversized, um, and they use Marvin architectural windows. Um, that's one of the better brands of windows. For those of you that don't know, windows make a, there's a big difference in value and price depending when you go to a low line window, which most builders use, to when you get into the architectural series, um, things like Marvin, Pella, and um, Colby, you know, windows. But his designs are all very similar, very grand, and in this house, he actually did a separate building with a pool. So that's the pool house, indoor swimming pool with a retractable um, roof just so that you can use it all day long. There is so much to show you in this house, but what I want to really point out is most of the things that are done as a standard, just the way he builds period and end. Um, you know, he has a price per square foot and it includes all the things, a lot of the things I'm going to be talking about, but also, I'll try to point out some of the custom features that were done for this customer. Um, you can see, obviously, the marble inlays and the details of the border. Those are custom done for this customer. Um, he does do um, eight-foot doors, and all of the molding that you're going to see in here, the paint job is extra, but all of this molding is pretty much standard. This is pretty much standard for the way that he does his staircases when they have this um, curved effect. 
This is what they look like. The railings are part of his standard way of doing railings. Um, all, this molding around the arches here is all standard, the way that he just does them. Um, we're getting into the floors in here. Now, this is a, a cherry fl hardwood floor with a black walnut and maple inlay. These are things that are standard for this builder. Um, you can see how big the molding is on each of the doors, standard. Um, the way that he did this um, mantle, normally he does them in plaster. Um, this one happens to have a faux finish of marble um, that matches the marble surround. Um, those are standard. Crystal chandeliers are standard. And the ceiling detail here where he's got this plaster molding. Now the plaster depends on what you do, but those are dependent on the size of the house of whether that's standard or not. But um, normally that's something that comes along. It's a really beautiful work. Now all of this has been faux painted. That part is obviously something that's extra because everybody has their own idea of what they want to do with the faux painting. Another feature that he builds into just about all of his houses is he puts this bar between the living room and the library. Um, the bar um, usually will have a refrigerator and a sink. They ha 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 happen to put a hammered copper sink in this one and um, then they have the formal powder room tucked back in here. Um, they put in special sinks, special tile in this one and best, basically a really expensive faucet. But some of the features and, and putting a, a chandelier in here, the lights around the um, sink, crown molding, all of that kind of stuff is standard. Then when we get into the library, you can see that he, he does beautiful libraries, beautiful work here. Now, obviously, all the panels and things like that are an extra item because everybody's library is different and it's too hard to put that in our base price. This is the reception room. Obviously a very formal part because you're coming into the house and coming into the reception area. They share a fireplace between the library and the reception. Um, you can see the frescas and everything that's painted on the walls. Those, of course, are done custom. Um, but look at the intricate deep ceiling, light fixtures and everything. All of that is pretty much as par for the course depending on the size of the home. Okay, now, this kitchen is massive, but most of the kitchens in the houses that he's building are very large. Um, they use custom cabinets. You can see the details of the center island, darker color. This area is a cleanup area with a sink, trash compactor, dishwasher. Um, there's in refrigerators built in. There's um, refrigerators built in as drawers, um, but this kitchen is huge because you've got a cleanup center on this side, and then on this side of the house, you have the cooking central. So you've got a microwave, a wall oven, so um, two warming drawers down here, plus you've got two more ovens over here in the 48-inch Wolf in this massive cooking center here, pot filler, um, but you can see a lot of the detail in the mold, in moldings, how they built the, the cabinetry. There's another dishwasher over here so that you can clean up your mess from cooking, um, a little prep sink. Um, and then finally, you've got your butler going over to, then it goes into the dining room and even an espresso machine right in your own kitchen. All right, in this house, this is the formal, uh, informal kind of sitting room off the kitchen, family room, um, you know, just a place to hang out in front of the fireplace, but be part of the kitchen. Um, again, the cherry floors, you know, the plugs and everything are in, built into the baseboards. 
All of this kind of work in detail is pretty much standard for the par, par for the course for what he does. Now, we're getting into a little extra stuff here. He's put an additional bar in um, because he wanted to have informal party you know, room here. So when he had a lot of guests over, he could actually have a bartender back here and you know, have the, the extra bar in here. And he put a fountain in here so that this becomes a much bigger family room area just off the, the family room. So you can have two sitting areas, you know, maybe a little kind of hookah room in here. Um, then it goes off into the exercise room. They want an exercise room on the main level. Um, all of this puts a lot of extra um, space on the lower level, and we'll get to see what we did with that in just a minute here. Now, this is an extra, and it's set up for as a summer kitchen. Um, so in case that kitchen wasn't big enough, here's a second kitchen for people to use off, off the patio. Um, you know, warming drawers, ovens, dishwasher, you know, Thermidor appliances, decor, refrigerators built in. But what a beautiful room and just set up as a really nice summer kitchen the way that it is. And I love the fact that this room has the opening above and you actually get the light in from the, that ceiling and I'll be able to show you some of those details from the outside. Now, in the secondary bedrooms, uh, in most of his houses, he prices in hardwood floors through all the secondary bedrooms. What is standard in all of his houses is the molding continues when you come up here, but he puts four recessed lights, he puts a ceiling light and cove lighting anytime he can do a tray ceiling in the room. Um, every bedroom has a sweet bathroom. So every bedroom has their own bath. In this one, it's just a normal bath. But one of the things that he does great on is the tile work. You don't see too much tile like this. One of the extras, but is our, always set up to be done in his houses is an elevator. And you can see that in this one, they copied the foyer um, tile work and of course the library on the panels. In most of his houses, he puts a laundry room on every level. That's a little more difficult these days, but it's something that he likes to do. You can see a staircase going up to the upstairs. Um, there always is attic access by a stairway depending on the size of the house there can be a, a bedroom up there with um, a bathroom or just a big storage room up there um, one of the things that he's there spends a lot of time on is the master bedroom suite and as you can see on this one you have the, a three-way fireplace coming in and then you can see a massive bedroom area, tray ceiling, now they've got a fresco on the ceiling as well. You can see the plaster molding um, throughout, music throughout, and um, on this one, you get a little picture of the summer kitchen out there. You can see a slate roof, um, the windows on, on the summer kitchen, we'll get a little bit more to that when we get to the outside. Then there's always a sitting room or reception to the master bedroom. And then I think you're going to love this. Um, you come into this, into the um, closet and bathroom area. One of the things that they did here is they set up a powder room just off just the beginning so that if they get up in the middle of the night and want to use the bathroom that they have a little powder room. Um, also, one of the things that he does always is puts a morning kitchen or a morning bar into it with a refrigerator, with some cabinet space, sometimes a microwave or um, even a hot plate he's done before. Um, you can see here 
that as we go into the bathroom. In this house, he's got it set up with a his and her closet. Now, this is the her closet, and um, it's very difficult to show you, but let's go on in and let's see where, where you can go. Can you get there? No. Um, uh, I, can, I just see you in the reflection here. Oh, is that right? Okay, good. Um, all right. This is the her closet, and you can see nice lights and beautiful crown molding, rosettes and, and cor, uh, corbels, um, and all the places to hang your clothes, mirrors to show, show you what's going on, and um, this is great. But if that's not the only thing that's great, this is a situation where here's the master bath. Now, then you get to the his closet. This is a man's closet and it really shows well. The attention to detail here is fantastic. Now, we go into the bathroom. We've got her space, her makeup counter, and her place. Gold fixtures, um, you know, beautiful um, sinks and marble. You got his side, and then you come back. They've got this gorgeous inlay in here, big jacuzzi. But one of my favorite things is the shower. First of all, you've got body sprayers built in. You, it's all programmable to play your music. You've got mood lighting on the ceiling. I mean, it's crazy. They've got, back behind here, they've got a, a place for your towels to go that keeps them heated and warmed for you when you get out. Um, it, it's a steam shower also, so it's a, 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 a steam room, you can sit down. Then they've got a little massage room over here where they can put a massage table and um, get massages. Great tub. And on top of that, they've got this beautiful sauna. One of the things about the M&A home is how they finish their media room. And they finish it like this. They do all of this beautiful carpet, the terracing the steps, all of the beautiful molding. It's painted well, 120-inch um, television screen, obviously all the lighting. It's really a great room and really finished very nice. Here we are in the wine cellar of standard in all M&A homes. This one made out of mahogany. Obviously you have shelves for your wine, display wines, racks for your um, cases and then shelves for your cases as well. Very well done, temperature controlled, a little sm on the small side, but that's all they wanted. One of the things that M&A does with all of their homes is they make a walkout basement even when it's all underground. You can see here they've put in retaining walls and pushed the walls out so that you have full win doors and full windows. You saw those on the front of the house. They even built little art niches in. You can see that the molding, detailed molding, built-ins, those types of things. That's part of what they do because a basement is so much of an integral part of the house. It's part of the living area that you live with. I mean, take a look at this bar. It's got beautiful chipped marble base with a unique marble tops, um, even a um, undermount sink, a, a microwave, warming drawers, ice machine, dishwasher, side-by-side -side refrigerator, even a place for the television behind there so you don't have to miss the game. And check out this light up here. That light is built in and made part of it. But when we're looking at homes, we want to look at all the little details. I don't want to bore you to death, but there's one thing I definitely want you to see. It's very special. This is one thing you don't see every day. Here, 
they've built a their own very own little two lane bowling alley, and I mean it shows that with M and A anything you can dream of they can build. It's got colored lights. You've got TV monitors um, and big screen TV that replays the action um, when you're bowling. There's murals on the wall that show um, uh, a scene from an aquarium. Uh, you can see the woods is just like in a, a bowling alley. Plus, they even have a little place over here for your shoes. Now we enter the pool house. This is an option on most M&A homes, but the finish is very similar to what you find in the main house. Um, this one has um, stain grade wood trim. Uh, you can see the tile floors. It's a tile floor, but it looks like wood. Uh, really cool. And skylights, uh, light fixtures, music in the room, um, lots of recessed lights, great, the Marvin architectural windows, um, all of these things and details. You've got a bar over here. Um, you've got place for, um, you walk out, keeps the smell out of out of the other other room but you got this cool door here and um, a roof that opens up and lets all the um, fresh air in makes it great um, all you can see that it's still under construction you got space over there to put some lounge chairs in you even have a place for a 200 inch television hanging with um, uh, the ability to project television into uh, while you're sitting in the pool. You got the jacuzzi, swimming pool, and then um, it's got a retractable cover on it. It's covered up right now. You can see the lighting in here is fantastic. And then over here we have really neat a steam room and a sauna that look out over the pool plus a his and hers bathroom, changing rooms, and this is all on the automatic door as well. Now you've seen the M&A home, and I hope you can appreciate the quality that you find in all M&A homes, but they're building a home for you, and custom homes are need to be custom. Um, you know, the, this home has slate roof, has this pool house, has a lot of details, in it that um, were done for this particular customer and not for everyone. But you can take a look at the balusters and the railings. They're all precast. The, the deck and no decks, they're all verandas with tile, all brick exteriors and detail and molding. But if you want to try to get and talk about building a new home, give me a call. My name is Casey Marganow, Casey Marganow Fine Homes, 703-827-5777.